Allen Iverson, a name synonymous with lightning quick crossovers, fearless drives, and an undeniable swagger, transcended the basketball court. His impact wasn't just measured in points and accolades. He was a cultural icon who redefined the game and inspired a generation. Hey! Allen said yes, the buck and the crowd! But beyond the spectacle, a question lingers. Was AI the king of one-on-one -on -one basketball? Let's delve into his incredible skill set, competitive spirit, and undeniable legacy to see if he truly reigns supreme in the ultimate test of individual brilliance. From struggle to stardom, a Philly fairy tale. Isael Iverson, born in 1975, wasn't handed a silver basketball. He faced hardships from a young age. His mother, Ann Iverson, raised him and his siblings on her own in Newport News, Virginia. Theirs was a tough life, marked by financial struggles and violence in their neighborhood. Basketball became Allen's escape, a place where he could channel his energy and frustrations. I took all the negativity and turned it into positive energy. Allen Iverson. Despite his small stature, he's listed at 6-0 inches but plays much bigger. Iverson's talent on the court was undeniable. He dominated at Bethel High School, leading them to a state championship in 1994. His dazzling ball handling skills and fearless scoring attracted national attention. John Thompson, the legendary coach at Georgetown University, saw a special spark in Iverson and offered him a scholarship. Denver got fouled and won! Wow! The answer arrives, taking Philly on his back. The 1996 draft was stacked with talent. Kobe Bryant, Ray Allen, and Stephon Marbury were all potential stars. But the Philadelphia 76 ERAs, a team yearning for a hero after the departure of Charles Barkley, surprised everyone by selecting the undersized yet electrifying Iverson with the first overall pick. With the first pick in the 1996 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Allen Iverson from Georgetown University. Iverson's rookie season was a whirlwind. He burst onto the scene with an undeniable swagger, averaging nearly 24 points per game and showcasing his fearlessness by taking on much bigger players. He won the Rookie of the Year award, becoming an instant fan favorite in Philly. We weren't supposed to win. That's why it was so sweet. Allen Iverson. Two ball, got it again! He's way too good! He steps around Lou! Allen's impact went beyond stats. His relentless hustle, ferocious crossovers that left defenders on skates, and signature step-back jumpers captivated fans. He brought a new level of excitement to the game, a playground style of play that electrified crowds. He wasn't afraid to mix it up on defense either, using his quickness and tenacity to disrupt opposing teams. Iverson became the heart and soul of the Sixers. He was a vocal leader, a player who demanded the best from himself and his teammates. He wasn't afraid to to speak his mind, even clashing with coaches at times. But one thing was undeniable, Iverson willed his team to win. Building a team, the rise of the misfits. Sixers surrounded Iverson with a talented supporting cast, including Theo Ratliff, Aaron McKee, and Larry Hughes. This group, dubbed the Misfits by the media because of their unorthodox playing style, became a force to be reckoned with in the Eastern Conference. The late 90s and early 2000s were the golden age of Iverson and the Sixers. They battled against Eastern Conference powerhouses like the Indiana Pacers, New York Knicks, and Miami Heat. Each playoff run was a spectacle, fueled by Iverson's incredible scoring outbursts and his never-say-die attitude. The pinnacle, MVP, and the final. And a couple of turnovers. Now Russell has Iverson in Malone's spots. And how about the 2000 to 2001 season was Iverson's masterpiece. Coach Larry Brown implemented a more structured system, but Iverson remained the focal point. He averaged a staggering 31 points per game, the highest scoring average in the league since Michael Jordan. He won the league's most valuable player award, becoming the shortest player ever to achieve that feat. Well, the first rule of defense is to stop him. Damon was with him. I play every game like it's my last. I want to win. That's all I care about. Allen Iverson facing the Lakers, a series for the ages. 2001 NBA Finals was a clash of titans. The Lakers, with their size and athleticism, were seen as the clear favorites. But Iverson wasn't phased. He put on a one-man show, averaging over 35 points a game throughout the series. He famously stepped over Tyron Liu during a crucial moment in Game 1, an image that became a symbol of his fearless competitiveness. And then rejected and fouled. Back 
practice coach. I don't want to take anything from them. They were a great team, but I felt like we were the better team. Allen Iverson. Despite Iverson's heroics, the Sixers fell short in six games. The Lakers' size and interior dominance proved too much to overcome. However, Iverson cemented his legacy as a fighter who could carry a team on his shoulders. He earned the respect of the entire league and proved that heart and determination could overcome even the most daunting challenges. Beyond the finals, a scoring machine. The scoring prowess continued throughout his career. He won four NBA scoring titles, a testament to his ability to create his own shot and get to the free throw line. He was a master of the mid-range game, pulling up for fadeaway jumpers over taller defenders with remarkable consistency. The art of the crossover, a legacy of ball handling. Iverson's crossover was a thing of beauty and a nightmare for defenders. He used his lightning quick first step, incredible ball handling skills, and an understanding of body positioning to create create space and get to the basket. His signature move, the ankle breaker, became legendary, leaving countless defenders grasping at air. The case for Iverson, the king of one-on-one. -on -one. So is Allen Iverson the best one-on-one -on -one basketball player of all time? The argument is certainly compelling. His ball handling skills were unmatched with his crossover leaving countless defenders on skates. His ability to create space and attack the rim, even against bigger players, was a masterclass in offensive efficiency. Combine this with his relentless scoring mentality and fearless competitiveness, and you have a player built for one-on-one -on -one dominance. He wasn't afraid to take on anyone, regardless of size or reputation. His scoring titles and MVP awards showcase his offensive prowess and his ability to carry the Sixers to the finals highlights his clutch ability in isolation situations. Later career and legacy, Iverson's career after the 2001 finals wasn't without its challenges. Injuries and clashes with coaches led to stints with several teams, including the Denver Nuggets, Detroit Pistons, and Memphis Grizzlies. Despite these challenges, Iverson remained a fan favorite wherever he went, leaving a lasting impact on the game. In 2013, Iverson retired from basketball. Everybody know, you know why we're here. Um, I'm formally uh, announcing my... He was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2016, a fitting tribute to his incredible career. So there you have it, ballers. Allen Iverson, a legend whose impact goes far beyond stats and accolades. He was a master of the crossover, a cultural icon, and an inspiration to millions. Whether you believe he's the undisputed king of one-on-one -on -one basketball is a debate for another day. But one thing's for sure, AI left an indelible mark on the game, proving that heart, determination, and a killer crossover can take you all the way. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the story of Allen Iverson. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you never miss a future episode. We'll be diving into the story of more basketball legends soon.